Did you ever found yourself getting stuck while producing a track? Maybe in the middle you added track after track after track and on some level you thought okay maybe it sounds like a huge mess, this sound doesn't fit into the track anymore, um, maybe I have too many sounds, maybe too little, maybe this sounds not good enough and so on. If this sounds familiar to you I want to give you a little bit of a framework system some questions and uh, yeah kind of mindset framework that you can follow along to actually get unstuck to find your flow again and finally finish that track and maybe you can also find or open up older projects using this framework and actually finish those tracks because I'm sure you have lots of unfinished tracks maybe that um, have lots of potential to getting finished right if this sounds good to you let's jump right in but before as always if you're new to this channel, I want to give you something for free, which is my Softbot Snappy Raw Minimal Ableton Live Kick Template. This is basically a highly adjustable kick template, right? It's not a kick template, but it's a little instrument that you can drop into your MIDI channel and then you can customize your kick. You basically can build your very own kick out of it. You can uh, make it long, make it short, make it snappy. Basically, you whatever fits your needs. Whatever fits your taste, it's inspired by many Romanian artists like um, Petr Inspirescu, uh, Barak, Priku, um, Christy Cons, and so on, right? Now, if you want that, go and grab it. It's completely for free. Just click the link below and then you get it shipped into your inbox. And the little benefit that you also get is some exclusive bonuses if you stay on my email list. Something that you don't see on this channel. So yeah, it's probably worth getting on it. So yeah, now let's jump over to this week's content. I want to show you this track. I'm not sure if I actually showed you this in uh, last week's video, but it doesn't really matter because I often found, no often, but uh, sometimes we found ourselves that um, we get stuck somewhere. Maybe we add too many elements and uh, yeah, I want to share the process on how I usually go with that <clears throat> and some questions and uh, yeah, kind of a framework that I follow along to actually beat those, um, yeah, to get unstuck, right? Yeah, actually, you know, I haven't listened to this track for about one week or even more because I was um, busy with traveling and stuff, you know, at the moment I'm in New York and recording this from my hotel room for you uh, I hope you don't mind some noise maybe in the background and whatnot but anyway um, let's start so now first thing I like to do is uh, pulling up this notepad light and what this is is basically a notepad right so I can basically just text in what works and what doesn't so those are the two main questions I ask myself what works and what doesn't so first I simply listen through it right Okay, maybe I can also adjust this question, whatever you like, you can also ask what do I like about this track, um, maybe that works actually better, right, so what works for this track, what do I like about this track, and then I simply bring in step by step the individual sounds, right, and then I can, I like this one, main drums, not not sure about this one so if I'm not sure I simply let it go like this one I oh yes I like this one This is actually playing, I think not. This one also not. I 
think this is okay this sound but I think it doesn't fit into this specific track so I, I'm sorry I need to get let it go um, sometimes it's hard you know I think sometimes really the hard thing is to say no to stuff right saying no is way harder even in music production making decision to let uh, an element go sometimes less is more right but I will keep one is coming back here. Sounds a little bit off here. And then I make notes, right? way off. Okay, I'm not sure about 15. About 15 and maybe also this one. I simply mark it yellow. Oh yeah, I forgot about this one. Also not, I think this one also not. Okay, now I'm basically not sure about this one here. Not this one. Maybe I need to get rid of both, I don't know. Or pitch one, right? So basically, I make a shootout, <coughs> but I think this one needs to go. So we get rid of everything here. So we only have the muted one. Not the muted, but the soloed one. Okay, that's the one that we are not sure about. Yeah, so now I basically cut out the, the meat, I would say, um, because sometimes when we are in, in the flow mode, in, in, in the mood, right, we try to add more and more and more stuff, and we think it sounds good, but after some time, we maybe found that, yeah, after a break, or maybe even a week or whatever, we found ourselves that it doesn't fit the, the track, actually, right, that it's somehow off, but I have the feeling from here I really think this can be a good foundation uh, maybe I need to tweak this one Another thing you could try or ask yourself or I try to ask myself is sometimes, um, especially for this example here. So it doesn't work, right? At least not for my taste. Now I simply ask what exactly don't I like about this right so what what what's why do I don't like this right so and then I would probably go back just to get my thoughts a little bit sorted I know this sounds like uh, non-musical stuff but this really helps me at least to get some clarity and then work kind of efficiently or get unstuck efficiently inside Ableton Live, right? So I would maybe ask myself, you can also use a pen and paper if that works better for you, but maybe I would say, um, I don't like about this one, um, 
the pitch, the pitch, the tonality maybe, I don't know, it just sounds, sounds off somehow, right? And sometimes maybe in other cases it's the bass, right? That is somehow boring, it repeats itself all over again, maybe it's the hi-hat, the dub sounding boring, whatever it is, write it down and I think in that way you get lots of clarity and then you can really get unstuck because you get clarity right you know exactly what doesn't work and what works so In this case, I think the, the drums work really well, um, hi-hats work really well, and especially the bass also works really well, in my opinion. And then I will build up on these, right? I can proceed from here um, and about the other parts don't waste them honestly you can still save them so for example I can save the whole chain or maybe even save the project save as a new project file and then delete everything else right everything else I would delete and just keep the one that didn't work for this track that I'm currently working on but use it as a starting point for the next track, right? Maybe it still sparks some inspiration. So we don't really waste it anything, right? So that's how I would approach it. So to sum it up very quickly, number one, ask yourself what works, what doesn't, or adapt the question to your likings. What do I like in this track? Is it the drums? Is it the bass line? Is it this? Is it that? And maybe you found that it works sometimes better to ask yourself what doesn't work. I found for this specific track it works better to ask myself what doesn't work for this track. And then I go through it. Okay, this one doesn't work. This one doesn't work. This one doesn't work. And then step by step you skim the track and you cut out the, the bad parts, right? And then the bad parts for this track right not the bad parts in general you still can save them and use it for the next project or maybe the in a week two weeks in a month whatever it doesn't really matter or maybe it fits another track and you simply save it as a preset you never know But also keep in mind creativity is a strange thing. Sometimes it works for you and sometimes it really works against you. Like in my case here, I got stuck with this track. I think it's the foundation is, has potential, but I need to really um, get unstuck and find some new elements to keep that thing going. And sometimes you just need to put it aside and bring it back after a month or two. Why not, right? So, my recommendation now for you to proceed is find some unfinished tracks and apply this little framework. Go through it and then ask yourself what works, what doesn't. And if you like, use a pen and paper, uh, really write it down. And on the, on the parts that you don't like, really ask yourself what exactly is it what I don't like about this thing? Is it repeatable? Is it the tonality? Is it too happy? Is it uh, too boring? Are the notes too boring? Is it um, the pitch, like in my, in my case here, right? And so on. So I hope this gives you lots of clarity. 
uh, pull up one track maybe and then go through it and hopefully you get unstuck and can hopefully finish it so yeah hope this was helpful let me know in the comment section if yes and maybe you have other ideas other frameworks that you follow along if you get stuck um, here's a little bonus sometimes it also helps to change the environment right if you always work I don't know in your studio maybe just uh, take your laptop and put it somewhere else maybe even in your bed why not right <laughs> or something completely differently and uh, maybe you get unstuck there so yeah hope this was helpful thanks for your time cheers